Finally, let's test out our payment. So I will fill in the email and other details. Choose my name here and let's click on pay button. And there you go, it has redirected us on the success page. Let's test it out on Stripe. So let's click on payments and I see a latest payment on the top. Let's click on it and it shows all the details of our payment. Hey guys and welcome back. In this video, I will show you the step by step guide to integrate Stripe payment gateway in your React and Node.js application. So let's get started. Now in order to not waste our time in creating a complete e-commerce project from start, I will be using my existing e-commerce web app that I created myself before. So I have used Redux for state management. As you can see, we have our use selector hook and add to cart reducer. If I open my client folder structure, you will find reducers folder, actions and store etc. And this is the site we will be using for today's project. Actually, we can add items to cart and let's add few of them. You can see a beautiful toast message. Actually, I use toast package for this purpose. Again, it's not the job for this video. Now, as you can see, our cart has all the items added. And if I want to see my cart, I will immediately ask for login as I have added JWT authentication using Node.js server. So this is actually a fully working project which we are using for integrating Stripe to it and make it complete. Now currently we have three products in our cart. We can increment quantity or delete one. And as you can see for pay button, this is the code. And this is how I am able to render the dynamic text for our pay button. And currently if I click on the pay button, it's doing nothing. But what we need is that if I click on this button, we need to redirect our users to checkout page. And if the payment is made correctly, we will be showing our users a success page. And if the payment goes wrong or any other issue happened, we will be showing our customers a payment cancelled page. And these pages are also designed and are ready to be integrated. So this is all the work plan for this video. Now for setting up Stripe, we only need to pass our products data to our Stripe that are currently in the cart and the amount is calculated from these products as well. So let's check if we are getting our products from the cart correctly. For this, let's console.log our cart variable that is responsible for getting cart state from the store. And if you have a general idea about Redux, you can get it. By the way, if you want a short course on Redux in one video, please let me know in the comments down below. If I get enough comments, I will create a video around it. Anyways, let's come back to the video. So let's head over to the browser inspect and open our console tab. And there you go, we are getting our cart items. And there are two items in our cart right now. So it's showing an array of two objects. Let's open each one to see what data we have. So we have the name, price, category, image, quantity and many more data available. And that's what we are needed at the moment. So now we need to add Stripe to check out and process our payment using this data. Now for that we need to install React Stripe package. So let's close our terminal and install the required package. And this is the package that we are going to use. It's at the rate stripe forward slash stripe js package for react. I will copy the package and simply paste it over to my terminal and hit enter. So the package has been installed and to check this you can open package.json file and here under dependencies we have our package available which means it is installed successfully. Now let's proceed with the Stripe integration by using an on-click listener to our pay button and let's call our method let's say make payment. Now I will create make payment method up here and also let's make it async as we need to listen for promises. Now inside this method the first thing I like to write is loading the Stripe module that we have just downloaded. But before that we need to import it at the top. So at the top I would import load Stripe from the package just like you see it here. After that let's use load Stripe here inside the function to load Stripe 
and await the response in the stripe variable and inside load stripe we need to pass our client key that stripe provides so just head over to your stripe account that i guess you have already created and from the home page just copy your stripe publishable key and paste it over here now you can also create a dot env file and paste all your environment variables for your client there and use process.env.react underscore whatever your variable name here as well. But I would like to stick with the basic way. So after that let's create a body variable as well which will hold the products data we need to pass to our backend for payment processing. So as you can see we have cart that we can use here which holds all the products that will be in the cart at the time of making payment. So I will simply assign my cart array to products. Next I would like to also pass headers so I will generate headers to accept JSON data as we are passing in the form of products and finally I will use fetch method to communicate with the server over the route that we can name as create checkout session and we need to create this route in the backend as well. However let's complete the client code first. So this is going to be the post request and I will pass in the headers and as we have already written code for each of them up above we just need to assign them. And for the body let's use json.stringify to convert the data to pure json as server only understands json data. Finally we can await for server response in the form of session if the payment goes successful. And we can redirect users to checkout and can store session id using the session variable. Now that's it for the client code. Now let's navigate to server and create the route for handling or processing our final payment. Now before that let's pass in our secret key for stripe in .env file that we will be needing in the code. So let's navigate to your stripe account again and get your secret key this time. You might be asked about your stripe password before you can see your secret key. So just provide your correct password and unlock your key. And just copy it and paste it over here. I will save my file and now I am ready to start to code. Now before going further I will install stripe package that we need and once it is installed I will open my routes file. At the top I will import stripe package and use my secret key from .env as process.env.secret underscore key. So this is how you can import stripe at the backend and down here let's create a new route as create checkout session obviously and this should also be async. Inside this route we will write the code that will manage our entire stripe payment. So first of all I will get products using request.body. After that I need to create line items as this is the part where we need all the data about our products to provide to our stripe payment session. So I will map over products and use price data object inside this with currency as USD. Product data object would contain name of the product as product.name and image as product.image. Next I will provide unit amount as product.price and if I need it in USD I will multiply it with 100. And finally I will also provide quantity as product.quantity as well. Next as line items are ready so I will use stripe to create a checkout session. And here I will use payment method type as card, line items as line items and mode to payment. There I will also set success and cancel URLs. Now these are just client side pages which are shown if payment is successful and vice versa. I will set them later. First let's response our session id to trigger payment success if everything went right up till here. Finally I have these pages in front end for success and cancel which I will copy paste the urls for success and cancel pages. Now we have done with the code and let's actually test our final project. So let's open our shopping cart and let's click on continue shopping button to add some more items. I will go with one or two sneakers and there you go these are being added. The price and each stuff is working correctly. And let's click on pay button. And there I guess we have some problem opening our checkout page and we cannot go further. 
I think we have some problem with our backend code where it says invalid integer. So I actually forgot to round off the price to nearest whole number. So this will probably fix the issue and there you go now it works. And it has redirected us to the checkout. Now here it shows all of our products that were in our shopping cart with images, quantity and price. And our total has been shown at the top in large font. Finally let's test out our payment. So I will fill in the email and other details. Choose my name here and let's click on pay button. And there you go it has redirected us on the success page. Which means payment is completed and successful. Let's test it out on Stripe. So let's click on payments and I see a latest payment on the top. Let's click on it and it shows all the details of our payment. Like completed tag, all the items that were shipped and email address of our client plus their name and city etc. So it is amazing. And I hope you enjoyed this step by step guide to integrate Stripe payment gateway to your React and Node.js application. I tried my best to explain you in as easiest way as possible. Stripe is I guess the best and easiest way to add payment integration in your websites and other applications. Now this was one time payment integration. If you are curious about subscription based or recurring payment integration, make sure to subscribe and comment down below. If I get enough comments, I will come up with the video soon. If you want to see more tutorials like this and want to support me for what I am doing, please visit patreon.com forward slash code with Masood and choose monthly plan for $5 per month. You will get source code to every video I post and other benefits too. At last thanks a lot for watching and I will see you in the next time.